introduce yourself again. What was your name, sorry? Uh, Louis O'Rourke. And where are you from, Louis? Stratford upon Avon. Okay. And? Emily O'Neill, also from Stratford upon Avon. What's the name of your band? Outside Vampires. So where did that name come from? So we like thought of like some like combination of like two like words to combine into like the band name and outside and vampires we thought was the best option and uh, how long have you been together as a band now since september i believe yeah and how did you get together me and Emily, for example we met we like met in like the band and then like we both go to the same high school and uh, me and i've been mates ever since but you're actually part of a project, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, how does that work? What's the, the project like up there? Um, it's like, it can be a little bit nerve-wracking at some points, but after, after like, a while, for example, it gets, like, really easy to, like, get into, mm-hmm. if that makes any sense. What's the, what's the name of it? Because uh, how have you got together? What's the name of the project upstairs? Project. That you know? Spark. Spark Music? Yes. So you're involved with Spark Music? Yes. And that's, is that the first time you've actually been involved with uh, playing in a band? We were in a previous band under the same, like, uh, thing, and now we're just, like, now we're just continuing it, but in a different name. Oh, right, OK. And how long have you been working with Spark Music? Um, at least since August 2021. OK. Is that both of you? Uh, no, no, I joined no, in she September. Joined, yeah, she joined in September. Oh, okay, right. And uh, do you write your own music as well, or uh, do you play cover versions? We we do, yeah. We do do some covers. Uh, like, basically, at the first game before Amelie joined, uh, we did, like, Don't Stop Me Now by Queen at, like, our first ever gig, and it was re- it went really well. What instrument do you play by? Um, <laughs> I play the drums, and, and I've been going since... Year eight, and now I'm in year eleven. Okay, so. And how about you, Emily? What do you play? Guitar, and I've done guitar since year four, and now I'm in year ten. Who oh. else is in the band? It's not just the two of you, is it? Yeah, it's not just the two of us. Um, there's Florence, who's the singer, Elisha, who's like the pianist, and like I want to say, like occasionally sings a bit like me, for example. Mm. Except without the piano bit. <laughs> and is there anyone else that plays with you or helps you? Uh, yeah, they. Uh, Sam and Ben, uh, like, they're part of the rip chords and, like, they've been, like, really helpful. Like, I would even say that they help me with my confidence, like, really well. And uh, what about your own musical influences? You know, Emily, just wondering what's your musical, who do you like, which bands or artists are you uh, quite keen on listening to? I like what? Ariana Grande. Right, OK. Um, so what about yourself, Louis? What about um, your influences? And- I... Yeah, like I said before, I'm quite in- inspired by, like, Queen, and uh, I've always, like, liked Freddie Mercury and, like, Brian May, like, I like to say since I was, like, four, and, like, some of the other singers who I like, for example, like, Ed Sheeran, like, I listen to to his songs, like, a lot, and, like, some and like sometimes whenever I, like, feel down, I just, like, every song will, like, feel sad, for example, um, I play, like, his music, and it helps me feel at least, at least a bit better, yeah. I quite like Roger Taylor as well. Like he's one of like my favourite um, drummers of all time. So, what do you think is the best song that you've done? I like to say like Young Breakfast, which is <laughs> going to be our song coming out like very soon. And like Don't Stop Me Now is like by far like the best I've done. And like and plus it was like the first song that we did at like our first gig, and it went ex- I say it went extremely well in my opinion. And it's uh, Young Breakfast, you said. Yeah, Young is Breakfast. Is that the song that you've written? Uh, like, it was more like all of us. And yeah, like, you as a band. Yeah, 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 us as a band. And, like, before we started this, um, we decided just to call it Comedy Rock, just to have a laugh. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, that might actually work. <laughs> so you've just mentioned you've got that song coming out. What are the plans have you got for the future? Um, I would say, like... Our plan is to at least make, like, more music. And, um, have you got any gigs coming up? Uh, yeah, in June. And where's that? Archies in Coventry. OK, when is that? 26th of June. The 26th of June? At the yeah. Archies in Coventry? Yes. OK, if people want to come and see you. Yeah, they should. Fantastic. Well, yeah. they should. They have they to. Definitely they should, have yeah. to. <laughs> it's a bit it's, more like it, yeah. It's become law. <laughs> is it, um, anyone else playing... On that night? Most likely the Rip Chords. Uh, yeah, there's like another band called the Neon Flames. 
and they're performing as well. Um, right, so anyone else you want to say thank you to for, you know, the help you've had? Because I know you've mentioned the root cause several times. I think we've got that thank message. Thank you, Claire. Okay. Yeah, th yeah, thank you, Claire. <laughs> Yeah, she's she to say who Claire is? Yeah, yeah, she's like the organiser of everything. That's the organiser of Spark. Yeah, yes, she yes. makes Spark and she kind of babysits us. Whilst in a way. Doing it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Harry, way. Ben and Sam are all like in the room with us. I know I've already said about my confidence thing and like, yeah, I just want to say that like, all three of them have helped me out with my confidence. Because like, so for example, like back in like when we started, I would be like terrified to sing. And now, since they, like, asked me to, like, have a go at it, and they, like, really liked it, it's really started to help me, like, feel a little bit better and a lot more confident in myself. And would you say the same, Emily? Yeah, you... I'd never really sung in front of anyone before this, to be honest. OK. Thank you very much for coming in and talking to us. Thank and you all having... the best for the future. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Thank you for having us. And let's have a listen to Outside Vampire's track. This is called Yum Breakfast. And on the other side of this, we'll be talking to Creative Differences and Angels and Demons. I'm Karis, I'm from Redditch. I'm Amelia, I'm from Longmaston. I'm Katie, I'm from Stratford upon Avon. I'm Emily, I'm from Kenilworth. Great, and you're actually in two bands, aren't you? Um, yeah, we're from Creative Differences. Differences. Um, and I'm from my Angels and Demons. That's you, Emily. We just want to make sure, because yeah. obviously people can't see us. You do realise <laughs> that, don't you? So yeah. Anything you're saying, you may have to sometimes explain. So, Emily, you're from Angels and Demons. Yes, and the rest of you, as a gang, you're from Creative Differences. Yeah, right, brilliant. OK, well, we'll talk to you first in Creative Differences. Um, is it the five of you, or is there anyone else as well in the band? Yeah. There's more. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a couple it's, more there's, people. There's a few well. people. It's a big group. <laughs> yeah, a group of people, um, yeah. We have a drummer somewhere, and um, a p pianist. Keyboard player. We're the bass player, don't we? Yeah. Mm. So those of you that are here now, do you want to just uh, tell us what you play? Go from, from you. Uh, a bit of piano and guitar. Yeah. I do a bit of guitar and a bit of singing. I play guitar and sing. I sing. No, I just play bass. 
It isn't just playing bass, mate. That's an important role. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And what what type of music do you do you play and sing? Um, quite varies. There's not really like a set. Not specific. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just wondering, do you, do you do many sort of covers or do you do your own stuff? Um, we mainly do covers, but we have written our own um song, which we just recorded, recorded in Woodbine Studios in Lamington. Okay, and what's that called? Uh, it's currently unnamed. Yeah, we haven't we haven't got a name added for it. a name to it, but we've done Finished a kind of it. recording. Yeah, like yeah. A, some editing to it. But. Yeah. Okay. I'm just wondering when you say you do covers, by the way, what uh, type of music, what bands or artists do you tend to actually listen to? Um, well, our song is kind of like, or you could say, like rock, I yeah. guess. So stuff so we, around that. I think we all kind of have very different music tastes, so we tend mm. to try and do a bit of everything for everyone. So it's very varied, it's not kind of one linear type genre it's kind of everything okay and do you want to um just tell us a bit about what sort of music um each of you uh, is into what what kind of music you're listening to let's start over here uh mostly rock yeah anyone in particular uh gorillas oh yeah (laughs) how about you two um i like like modern pop and stuff um i like kind of 80s rock type thing but I also really like kind of acoustic covers of songs as well so it's really different mm. um but I like the kind of classics really yeah yeah uh, yeah I like um like rock and pop music like a different variation of everything really it's really nice yeah and any any particular favorites um Tame Impala is quite nice yeah excellent yeah how about you honestly just Everything, like <laughs> pop, rock, jazz, blues. Okay, let's uh, ask Emily a few questions now. So you're from, uh, remind me of the band um, that you're I'm in? from Angels and Demons. And how many of you are there in the band usually? Um, there are five of us. So what's your role in the band? Um, I'm a singer, I also do a bit of bass and some drums. And who else is in the band and what do they do? Um, well, there's Zara, who does um, singing, keyboard and a bit of bass. There's Evan, who does bass and a bit of drums. There's Bella, who does um, drums and guitar. There's Ella, who does guitar. That doesn't sound like a big gang. Already. That's enough, isn't it? So yeah. what sort of music do you do? Um, all types really. And and what about you particularly? What sort of music do you like? Um, I don't really have any specifics. I just a bit of everything. Yeah. Okay. And I was just wondering how you got together. For us talking to creative differences to start off with, how did you lot get together then? Just kind of through the sparks music network type thing yeah. um do you want to tell us a bit about spark music what it is and uh... Uh, well it's run by the lovely claire it's just kind of um a group where young musicians get together to form bands and work on their mental health and um kind of trying to become more confident in themselves and performing and finding that lovely music and expressing themselves with that and have you found, if you don't mind me asking, have you found this has helped you? Oh, massively. Me personally, I don't know about everyone else, but it's really helped me. Yeah, I think it's quite helpful and it's really good to like meet new people and get to know others. So yeah. And how about the rest of you? It's really helped with my confidence. I would have never thought I would have ever done something like this. That's great. Um, yeah, it's helped a lot. Uh, I didn't really do a whole lot before I joined, but now I do. And oh, you look forward to, to going to, you know, getting together every week then? Yeah. And what about actually uh, people who have maybe been mentoring you, you know, teaching you at the the, the actual uh, Spark Music? Have you got people who... We've got Ben and Sam. Uh, they're awesome. They're really talented musicians. Um, <laughs> what, what plans have you got for the future? Um, You've uh, you've been into the studio already, haven't you? So, what, yeah. what have you got anything coming up? 
Um, uh, yeah, we've got a, a gig. The gig at, at, at the, the Arches, Arches in Coventry on the 26th of June. <laughs> I was just going to ask Emily, by the way, because you're, are you part of the Spark group or have you... Yeah, I'm part of the Spark group as well. But are you, do you come to Stratford to do that? No, I go to a place in Kenilworth called the Kenilworth Youth Centre. Okay. Oh, okay. And who tends to be there helping you? Um, we have Matt, who helps us out with a lot of the music. Yeah. And obviously you get help from, um, you know, some other musicians as well, do you? Yeah, um, we have help from Luca and Sam and Karis and Dan. Okay. And are you, is your band playing at the, uh, the gig as well? Yeah. Do any of you have any message that you'd like to give to the people who listen to your music? Um, I think if you listen to it, then I think you're kind of able to find that love for it and if you want to learn to play go for it because it's music really helps um in kind of all aspects of your life because it's everywhere so especially understanding different music as well because it's so wide it's so many cultures around it as well and so learning that will definitely kind of help you in your later life too yeah that's a great message yeah thank you so much for coming in yeah thanks for coming in and talking to us thank you and that was Creative Differences. And let's have a listen to their track. It does now have a title and it's called Promise I'm Fine. And on the other side of this, we'll be talking to Neon Flames. <laughs> Stratford. Um, I'm Sam from Stratford. I'm Jacob from Broadway. 
And what's the name of the band you're in? Um, we decided to call ourselves Neon Flames, but our original name our original name was Blue Tigers. Why did you change the name? Just as a matter of interest. Well, we just thought it was a bit childish, in our opinion. But so where did Neon Flames come from? Uh, Amanda and I came up with the idea. I was speaking about um, like it to do with flames, and then she came up with like the neon part of it. And um, where do you rehearse? Foundation House in Stratford. And how did you all uh, get together? Some of us have been here for quite a long time. Jacob, Amanda and I and Siam started in summer of 2021 and we decided to join this programme and they've been here ever since. When you say this programme, maybe well, one of you would like to explain what this programme is. You know, what's the name of it? Um, it's Spark Music. OK. And what, how does that work then? How did you sort of get involved with it? Um, we started as like a, like a summer group type of thing and then it expanded to like a over the year course thing. OK. Did you all know each other before? No. We, we met because of this group. OK. And what have you learned? Finn, you first. Uh, I've learned how to play in a band, play music all together. What instrument? Uh, guitar. OK. And Alejandra? Um, I'm the vocalist for the group. Oh. So. Amanda? Um, I do bass. OK. Um, I'm a nervous singer. Oh, right. She's a second I, vocalist. Yeah. Second. Are you, do you, or just, are you, do background, I mean, do you do the sort of backing vocals as well as the, you know, up front, do you do the lead vocals? Or are you both, do you swap we're over? Both, yeah, when we're, we're doing um, cover songs, we sometimes split it. We used to be in a different band, Sion and I did, and she used to play piano for the band. And then she decided to be a duet with me. Okay, Jacob, what about you? What do you do? Uh, I do drums for the band. Okay. Yeah, and um, are there any other musicians in the band or anyone else that helps? Yeah, we have um, another member in the band called Macy and she plays piano for our band. Is that just piano or piano and keyboards? Just wondered. Both. Both? All right, okay. Multi talented then. Mm -hmm. Got you. And anyone else who, uh, who helps you? with the band as well? I mean, apart from our um, tutor, James, he is the one who obviously directs us and teaches us new songs and things like that. James is quite important. Yes, I think he deserves a mention, doesn't of he? Of course. Yeah, OK. And what, what sort of influences have you all got? Oh, well, we all have very different tastes in music. Well, let's, uh, let's start at this end, then, uh, Jacob, what's, what sort of music are you into? Uh, I'm more into kind of classic rock, so kind of 70s to 90s. Any particular bands or...? Kind of Pink Floyd, Radiohead type thing, you know? Got you. Yeah, yeah. And so... Um, I like listening to like R&B music and quite like 90s, like inspired stuff. So like TLC. Hell stuff. yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I like a bit of like modern stuff and stuff from the 90s. Like I do also like 90s R&B, but I also like quite a few modern songs as well. Uh, Andra? I much prefer listening to like modern music. Like, I'm not really like a massive fan of like the old music. People might hate me for that, but like, yeah, I prefer modern music. And any particular artists or bands? I mean, it's quite cliche, but like Ariana Grande and Little Mix, obviously they've broken up now, but I really enjoy their songs. And how about you, Finn? Uh, I'm more into hard rock, like Guns N' Roses, ACDC. Oh, okay. So, yeah, quite a variety then. Yeah, I mean, that is quite, that is quite a range there, mm. you know, yeah, R&B, yeah. modern rock. I mean, it's, you know, it's amazing you all get together, really, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite hard to song, decide on songs sometimes. And, but, talk, uh, and talking of which, what do you tend to do? Is it cover songs? Do you do your own songs? Both. So we sometimes do covers and then we write our own songs as well. And do you write them all together or is it uh, just some Yeah, we do, we do write them all together. So what plans have you got for the future? Well, we have an upcoming gig. 26th of June at the Arches in Coventry, by any chance. Uh, yeah. And um, I believe you're going to be going into the studio, is that right? Yeah. What are you hoping to be recording? Do you know um, yet? Our original song. And what's that called? We don't actually have a name for it. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Original Song at the moment. Fair enough. We, we just haven't thought of, like, a name for it. It's about heartbreak. Yeah. So when are you going into the studio? Just Third week in May in Leamington. OK. OK. Brilliant. Is there any message that you'd want to give to people who listen to your 
music or are going to listen to your music? I would definitely recommend that they should come together in a band as well because, I mean, if I'm honest, I didn't want to do that. And back in um, summer, my mum forced me to do it and um, I got some really good friends out of it and kind of gained confidence as well when you do gigs and things like that, so... And is, is that the experience you've all had about gaining confidence? Yeah. Finn, what, I mean, what have you sort of think, think you got out of this? I mean, how does it work for you? Um, friends, yes. Oh, yeah, nice, yeah. yeah. What about actually learning, you know, sort of learning the instruments and, you know, the help you've had? Uh, yeah, it's helped. James has helped us a lot to, like, get us places. Right. Yeah. What about you, Jacob? Because of Spark, it got me into drums. I'd never done drums before, but then I was asked to for uh, the band, and then I started doing it. So, yeah, that's I wouldn't have been even thought about it if it wasn't for Spark, basically. Brilliant. But you've all felt like it's not just it's friendship as well as uh, coming together and learning instruments and sort of. But you so you recommend it to people. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Any of you got any messages you want to give to anybody else? Come to the gig. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Fantastic. Thanks okay. so much. Thank, thank you very much, much for coming in. And it's great to see you all holding hands. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like true friends. Yeah. <laughs> thank you all very much for coming in and talking to us. Thank you. That's great. Nice. Thanks very much. Thank you for having us. And that was our interview with Neon Flames, and it was great to have a chat with all the young people involved with Spark Music. I was just going to say that the fact is, it's worth remembering that for, for them it was the first time they'd been in the studio to actually have an interview, and so it's the first to properly, as far as I know, that's what they mm. told us anyway, so yeah. we're, we're saying that that's what we think, and uh, they were really sort of made up with doing that. And also... For the music itself that they've done, it's, it's the first time they've been into a studio to actually record anything. So always bear in mind that it's early days and, you know, first opportunity and they're really learning and they're really young. Yeah, and uh, great work that Spark Music do and Claire, of course, in particular. We know who uh, set it up and, uh, and runs Spark Music, so uh, well done to her. Yeah. Well done to all of them yes, as well, because they're absolutely. fantastic. They were yes. very, I have to say, very professional. They were so courteous yeah. as well. Yeah. And, you know, so I can't argue with that. And uh, so they treated us with respect. They which did, is, yeah. Which makes a change for us. <laughs> you know, we don't even treat each other with respect. <laughs> That's true. But, yeah. yeah, and it was great to hear it. And, well, you know, move on, I say, because you've got a great start there and go for it. Yeah, and we look forward to hearing more from those bands. Let's have a listen to a track now called Unwound, and this is by Launder.